Hello everyone, it's Jake from the Foundation of Life here. I hope you're having a brilliant day uh, and I'm going to take you through today's PE lesson. Okay, before we start, we've got to do something called a warm up. Okay, so we've got to get our body warm and ready for our activities. All right, today's theme for our warm up is going to be superheroes. Okay, so have a little think who's your favourite superhero? Mine is. Oh, who's mine? Mine's Superman. Okay, so I want you to do your best Superman impression at home. Okay, our first exercise, all right, is going to be a Superman stretch. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get down on my hands and knees. All right, make sure your shoulders are above your hands. Okay, so it should be a straight line. All right, then you're going to put your left arm up and your right leg up at the same time. You look like Superman in the air. Once you've done that, you're going to go on to the other side. Okay. If you want a bit of an extra challenge, if that's too easy, you can go a bit of a press up, press up position and do it. But I'm just going to stay on my knees, alright, because I need to talk all the way through. I need my breath. Okay, so you can go press up position, you can go right hand up, you can go left leg up. Okay, and see the other side. Alright, as you can see, that's a little bit harder, so I'm going to stay on my knees. Ready? So we're going to start that in three, two, one, off you go. Nice and easy, okay? Do it at your own pace. There's no race in this, there's no rush, okay? So make sure you're stretching your arm all the way out like Superman would when he's flying, okay? We've got 10 seconds left. Well done if you're trying the harder one, okay? That's us done, okay? So well done for that one. A little rest now while I tell you what the next one is. The next superhero we are going to visit is Captain America. Okay, and because Captain America's got a really strong core, we're going to do a Captain America plank. So again, press up position, and you're going to try and hold that for the whole 30 seconds. Okay, if that's too hard, all right, you might go down on your elbows, do it like this. Okay, well that is up to you. All right, so we're going to start in three, Two, one, off you go. Try and keep your back nice and straight and your legs straight. Right, again, can your shoulders be above your hands? Okay, your hands shouldn't really be any wider than your shoulders at all. Okay, so you should feel this. Can you tense your core? Can you tense your stomach? Alright, then you get abs, just like Captain America from doing this. Alright, so we've not got long left. Three. Two, one, and freeze there. Well done. Okay, this time, all right, just have a little rest. Get a drink if you want. All right, the next one we're going to do, we are going to visit the Flash. All right, does anyone know what the Flash is? That's right, he's really fast, isn't he? He's really fast. Okay, like a Flash. All right, I think that's why they called him. So, what you're going to do, you're going to jog on the spot. Okay, if you've got a little bit of room, you might have a little jog around the circle. You might do a little little pattern on the floor okay it's completely up to you but when I say go flash is going to turn up and we're going to have to do a flash sprint as fast as we can for five seconds okay so we're going to do a couple of those all right so listen out for me saying go all right we're going to start and we're jogging around okay in three seconds three two one off you go so I'm going to start on the spot all right if you have got the space I don't mind you doing little circles whatever you want Okay, so I'll do a circle, I'll get back in my spot. And flash sprint, off you go. And stop there, so you're just jogging again, just jogging, you might go for a little adventure around your room. Completely up to you. You might be jogging around your room, you might see Spider-Man, hello Spider-Man. All right, now we're back to being flash, off you go. And stop there, well done. Okay, again, that one might have took your breath away a little bit. So you can get a drink again if you want. Okay. The next superhero we are going to see, we're going to visit, we're going to see what he wants us to do, is the Hulk. And as you can tell, I don't really look like the Hulk. All right, we're going to try and be just as strong as the Hulk by smashing the floor with our big Hulk smashes. Okay. So you're going to start up standing still. You're going to swing your arms and jump into the air like this. Okay. 
When you get down, you're going to bend your legs and punch the floor. Okay. Again, if you're at home, be really careful punching the floor. We don't want any holes in your floor. Okay. If you want, okay, if you want to make it a bit harder for yourself, when you get down, you can jump all the way from there and back down again. I'm going to stand up and jump from here. Okay. Ready? We're going to start in three, two, one. Off you go. So swinging my arms, jump and punch in the floor. Set again. Jump and punch in the floor with the other hand. Your challenge, can you do it faster than me? Okay, good. How high can you jump? How high can you jump? Can you jump higher than me? Can you get a parent to do it with you? Can you jump higher than them? And freeze there. Well done. Okay. Hopefully, everyone's warm now. Okay, feel your head. Is it warm? Feel your heart. Is your pulse a little bit faster? Okay. If it is, well done. You are ready to play our activity. Hi everyone, it's Jake from the Foundation of Light again. Uh, today we're going to do a little tennis challenge. Alright, so I've got a tennis racket and I've got a tennis ball. Okay, if you're at home, alright, you might use a boot and a pair of socks. Okay, anything you can think of that you could balance on the top and you could potentially hit them. Okay. Uh, on the floor, I've got four items. So I've used cones, frisbees, socks. All right, again, you can have anything in your house. You might have loads of different things to make. All right, that's fine. You might have five or six things in a row, but I've only got space for four. Okay, so your first job, okay, we're going to do a little balancing act. All right, so we're going to have the ball balancing on the tennis racket, or the socks balancing on the boot. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go in and out of our slalom. Alright, little zigzags, try and keep our ball still, okay, and we're going to go up and down twice. So there's once, alright, really focused on that ball, I know where the things on the floor are as well. So I just need to get back to the bottom without dropping it. sort of the easy level. This next one is going to be harder. So we're going to do it, but we're going to hop on one leg at the same time. If you want to switch legs, that's fine, okay? Because that's quite a bit, all right, to do on one leg. I might even go one, so one all the way around my right, one all the way around with my left. All right, but we've still got to balance that ball. So this one's a little bit harder, okay, but I'm always focusing on the ball. Still on my right foot. And I've got the bottom, so I'm going to switch legs now. I'm going to go on my left foot. Oh, no. Nearly got there. So it was just before the end. Alright, your turn to try it now. See if you can go twice, see if you can go three times. But see if you can do more than me. Well done. Right, your next round in the tennis game, okay, is going to be some tap ups. So we're going to have around 30 seconds, all right, to see how many tap ups you can do. Okay, so the first one we're going to do, we're going to do it for the, with the front of the racket. All right, if it drops, okay, that's fine, but your time's going to keep going. So you can pick the ball up and start again from where you were. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, off you go. If it's really easy, you might walk around. But always keep focused on that ball. Okay, so that's that's what you need to do. Okay, set yourself a timer of 30 seconds. Okay, and see if you can beat your family members, see if your friends are doing it as well, see if you can beat them. Okay. Like I said before, you can use anything, you don't have to use a tennis racket. I might have the frisbee in the house, I might try and keep it up with that. Okay? Right, 
Next one we're going to do, so the front was the easy level, second level is going to be the back of the right now. So if we're holding it like this, we're going to go with this side of the back. Alright? So again, we're just going to try and keep it up. Alright, if it's easy, try a little spin around. Alright, you're going to do that for 30 seconds as well. Same again, if it drops on the floor, alright, just pick it back up, give it another go. Level three, alright, is a little bit harder, but we're going to combine the first two. And we're going to go front, then back, and keep alternating between the two. Okay? So front, back, front, back, and you just keep flipping the racket, or the boot, or the frisbee, or whatever you're using, okay, to keep changing. Alright, every time you hit the ball up, you get a point. Alright, see how many you can get in 30 seconds. And the last one, okay, the last one, we're going to try something a little bit different. Okay, you can use either side of the rack you want, but I want you to try and use the edge as well. So if you've got a boot, the spine of the boot would work quite well. Alright, tennis racket, it works well. Okay, you get one point for every tap up you get, but you get five points if you use the edge. Okay. So I'm going to give this a go, hopefully it works. So I might do three or four and then on the side. Okay, so that would be my five points. Might try it again. Might do it every other time. And I've dropped it, but my time would still be going. Okay, so I would pick the ball up and keep my, keep my score going. All right, all right. Well done for doing your activity. Um, now, because we warmed up at the start, we're going to have to cool down as well. Okay, so we're going to do some stretches. Alright, first thing we're going to do, we're going to swing our arms forward in big circles. Okay, and we're going to do each one for about 10 seconds. Okay, then we're going to have a 10 second rest as well. Alright, ready? Off you go. So swinging your arms forward, nice big circles. And smaller circles. And bigger circles again. Alright, well done, now we'll have a little rest, okay, while well, I tell you the next one. The next one, okay, really simple again, you're going to do it exactly the same, but we're going to go backwards. Okay, alright, ready, three, two, one, off you go. So we're going to go big circles, change to the little circles, and back to big circles again. And raise that, well done. Okay. Now, alright, because you've worked really hard, we're going to have a sit down on the floor. Okay, so I'm going to sit down, I'm going to show you at the side first. Okay, so legs nice and straight, alright, toes pointing up into the sky. Alright, what you're going to do, you're going to try and reach forward and reach your toes. Okay, reach forward and reach your toes. Try and get your head down nice and low as well. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, off we go. Keep them legs on the floor. If you can't reach all the way down, that's fine. Try and hold it, try not to bounce. And freeze there. Okay, next one. Instead of putting your legs in a straight line, you're going to put your legs out wide. Okay, just like this. Okay, and what you're going to do, you're still going to reach forward and reach as far forward as you can. Alright, so we're going to start in three, two, one, off you go. Again, try and bend down, try and get your head down quite far. Alright, and try not to bounce. Okay, so we're going to finish in three, two, one, and relax. Okay. Our last one, alright, is going to be flappy wings. Alright, so you're going to have your feet together like this. Okay, pull them in, and you are going to flap your wings at the side. Alright, so we're going to do this one for a little bit longer, about 15, 20 seconds. All right, ready? Three, two, one, off you go. All right, so not too, not too fast. Okay, but we're just stretching our legs out a little bit. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, now you can stand up. Okay, I want you to shake your arms out, shake your legs out. All right, give yourself a little round of applause. All right, because that's you finished. Okay, so well done. And if you've got any photos 
or videos of you doing these sessions, okay? You can put them on Facebook, you can put them on Twitter, you can put them on any social media, okay? Get your adult to do that, all right? And the tags for the social media are on the bottom of our screen.